Hello, welcome back to me not knowing what I'm doing to my face. So today I went to Walgreens to get a lighter for my candles because mine just went out and I decided that I am going, because I have nothing better to do with my life or my Saturday night, I am going to do a look for St. Patrick's Day. Um, basically eyeshadow look and lips. So anyway, here we go. I spent a stupid amount of money again on this because apparently makeup is worth more than gold and it costs a lot. So I got this palette because literally nothing else I could find at Walgreens had green in it that would maybe like actually look green. And then I got this green um, mascara and I got gold eyeliner. I think this is eyeliner and then I'm going to use it as eyeliner. And then um, I got some gold lip thing too. So we're going to start with the eyes and um, I never really know if you're supposed to do eye liner first or eyeshadow, but I think today I'm just going to do eyeshadow first because then you don't want the eyeliner to get covered up. I don't know. I have the mirror literally right here. So if I'm like looking down at it, I'm sorry. Um, but here we go. I only have two eyeshadow brushes, but I feel like I want to do like yellow and then like a light green and then a dark green. But I, I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet. Like I don't, I don't know. So we're just gonna do some testies. Like I said, this is what I have. So I'm thinking like this yellow, this green, and this green. Um, so I feel like I just need to cover my entire eye with this yellow. I don't know how colorful this is. Oh, it's not like popping off. So I'm just gonna color my whole um, eyelid, I think. Well, kind of the whole eyelid, just cover it in yellow. All right, cool. Now we're gonna go with this light green right here. And um, we're just gonna use the same brush because I don't really have any other option. And I think, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this, but we're just gonna start um, putting it on and just doing what feels right and see like what, it's really powdery. Is that normal to like get super nasty? I don't know. Um, see, I feel like this just is not quite dark enough, but I'm just doing exact. I don't know. I'm just doing exactly what I did with the yellow. Apparently, um, was wow. Okay, this is it's green. I mean, that's when I tell you when I tell you that it is impossible to find green makeup. Like maybe I'm just looking in all the wrong spots. And granted, it's not like I was out looking for green makeup. I was out trying to get a candle lighter, but like there's nothing green. There's blue, purple, yellow, orange, any color that you want except for green. Like gr green makeup is harder to find than like I toilet paper right now. This it's really nuts. So we're lucky that I found anything green because I was about to just nix the whole thing. So now I'm gonna go in with this dark green I guess with the same brush and maybe just like the corners and we'll do like a um a fun little um thing like a, a blend a fady ombre like blendy thing i don't know if i should do my whole crease i don't i mean that's great it it's not horrible i tell myself that a lot just to make myself feel better about what i'm doing but um it's, it's there, it's not invisible. I feel like you're supposed to go in your crease a little, but, um, oh, that got all over my eyelashes, but we're gonna cover that up. I feel, I don't know if this is really even. So we're just, uh, do I go a little darker? Blah, blah. I don't know. I guess we're doing the whole, I guess we're doing the crease in this dark green. Oh, yikes. And then out. 
to the corners. And maybe like, yeah, that's not, I mean, it's, yeah, it's not professional, but I'm not a professional. I don't do this for a living. And so like now that I have maybe just a little darker, we're trying to go, this is St. Patrick's Day people. Look at the, we're trying to be Irish. We got to do them, do them proud. I'm Irish, so we have to do us proud. I don't know. I think that might be good. Do I look like a leprechaun yet? Do I look like a leprechaun yet? I'm trying to, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna take this one and then with the lighter green, maybe like go over everything just so like it all blends together. Is that a thing people do? Look, we just, I don't know if it's really doing any anything, but this looks like a disaster now that I see it. All right, and we're gonna do the other eye now. I'm just gonna, I got a new clean brush. So maybe we just go over the whole thing really quick with this, just to make sure it's all like blended. I don't really know. I don't think that looks bad. Let me say it could definitely be worse. So we're gonna call that good. Okay, now this is the part I'm kind of scared of. I think this is pencil eye, eye pencil. But it makes, I'm gonna see, test it on my skin to see how good it goes on. It goes on really smooth. So this might just be like a really thick line, huh? And do I like... It's all over my eyelashes. Do I go, should I attempt to do like, oh, like something fancy? Like, I look like I have a black eye down here. Like, wing it? Do I try? I don't know. We'll overline it just a little. But like, look at that. That's not good. Is that a wing? Oh, it just kind of looks like a blob. How do you wing this? How do people do this? And do I go under my eye? I just, I'm just not fully confident on how to do eyeliner yet or really in, should we do it under? I mean, what do I have to lose? All right, we'll do it up here. Sorry, this is like a weird angle of my eyeball. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do it under the eye. I don't know, do I go in there? Hi, yay, yay. I'm stressed. <laughs> I really am trying to make this look good, but I just don't get how to do it. Do I do it under here? Uh. Okay, this is just stressing me out more than anything. And I just feel like... You know what? We're just gonna call that decent. Decent, that's a good word. It doesn't really look horrible, maybe. You know what, we're just gonna call that good. <laughs> I don't really know how it should look, but I just feel like I kind of messed it up. Not like it was like good, there was anything to mess up, but now I'm just gonna try to do, make this even, we all know that's not easy, but we're just gonna try, so bear with me. basically just coloring my eyelashes but if I get close this is where we're at with this I feel like I'm just gonna call it good I have no idea if this is even if this like on the edge I feel like on the side it just looks like a big blob but I don't know how to connect the bottom to the top to not make it look like that so we're just gonna <laughs> all that good I guess I don't know I'm stressed and that's it so next we have this um voluminous original it's supposed to be green mascara I don't know how you make already dark eyelashes look really green but my nose is really red 
I don't know how you make um, dark eyelashes look dark green, but we're gonna try it and we're gonna see if it really does anything. <sighs> I'll do it in the camera. I feel it blink a blink a blink. Do a few blinks here. So you can't, you cannot tell at all that this is green. So I basically spent probably $8 on a tube of mascara that I'll never use again. And that did not do anything that I wanted it to do, which is fine. We're fine. We're not like in a economic crisis or anything. We're gonna do the top of the eyelashes. Is that a thing? I've seen people do this before. I just really want them to be green. Now we're getting clumpy, so I think. That's my sign to stop. We have to do the top of the other ones because that's what we did on this one. Heaven forbid I do a makeup tutorial and my makeup's not even. Oh. All right, and then we'll just make them go back up, I guess. When you do it at the top, they... You're turning into spider webs! Uh, that's not what I was going for, but... I don't really know what I expected. Oh! Well, nah. Do we do it on the bottom, too? I got some here. I mean, might as well. All right. We're gonna call that good. So the final thing to this look is really just um, lipstick. And when I tell you I have a story about this lipstick that I had to get, I go to the store and I get, you know, this. This is literally gold, right? Gold lip gloss. I pay for it, bring it home, destroy the box getting it open. This is what comes out of this box. Pure red, it, this is not, this is not gold. This comes out red, pink, like maroon. So the dedicated human I am goes back to the store to get a new one. And this time I'm like, okay, well this is this and it says it's gold. So I'm gonna get the same brand, but one that's maybe like not quite as gold, thinking maybe they screwed like this one up so it'll be actually the color that I want. I open, once again, destroy the box open. You know what came out of this? Red. Liter Can someone please tell me how first this is maroon and how this is red. This does not, we're, this is dumb. This is really dumb. These were $9 a piece, okay? Look, there's no comparison. So, I mean, I guess that's how they get you to spend your money, false advertising. So I end up in, you know, find the cheap brands. This cute little one, gold. And it, you know what? I bet it's gonna go on gold. Real advertising. I love it. So here we are. And I'm gonna put this on my lips to gold, not red, not maroon, not whatever the heck else you guys want me to think, want me to wear. Come on, people. So I feel like if I, if I swipe, I feel like it's just gonna blend in and not be red. So I just have to keep like putting it in and dabbing it over my lip. Or maybe if I do a layer of swipe, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one layer of swipe and then on top of it dab where it needs a little extra. So this is the only one that I'm gonna tell you about because the other ones obviously blow. Um, this is called Alame Goddess Gloss and I tell ya, I'm not even gonna tell you about the other one because they don't deserve my business or your business or anything. And I'm not gonna lie, am I a little disappointed? Did I want like pure like sparkle gold? Yes, but this is just going to have to do. And then at the end of this, I'll show you my look, outfit and all full look for St. Patrick's Day this year. All right, well, 
This look definitely did not um, go how I planned, but I'm not gonna say that it's horrible. I mean, it's what we got. It wasn't like, it's just, it's just not as boom as I hoped that it would be. Anyway, it's not as woo and out there as I really wanted it to be, but um, I'm also just like not confident in my skills enough to like really try because I don't know technique or anything. So this is just my start. It's kind of boring, but I really tried and I'm just gonna keep trying to get better. <laughs> I cannot get over this. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to show you my full St. Patrick's Day look. Um, just a minute. Okay. Okay, so um, because of Corona 2020, everyone's quarantined. So this will be my look for St. Patrick's Day this year. Um, we got these cool beads and then you have your gray comfy sweatshirt because you'll be sitting around watching Netflix, not allowed to do anything. And then um, I'll stand on my couch. You have these nice um, gray sweatpants because um, no one's seeing you. So you can wear a grout fit and not get judged for it and everything. So I'm going to make sure I get real dolled up on St. Patrick's Day so I don't get pinched. And um, so that I look good for all the characters in the TV looking back at me um, because they're going to be the only people I see because Corona. So I hope that you guys get some inspiration. If you guys are allowed to go do things and places are open that you can go um, hang out and be with your friends and you wanna look good, just like try some of this it, um, so that you look good. And then um, let me know how it goes because I'll, I, I'm just I'm just gonna be here. <laughs> so on, right, on, on that, right, right there on the couch. So, um, happy St. Patrick's Day. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Wash your hands. So, um, I'm going to go wash this off and g continue my quarantine. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.